Hello everybody. Um, in this tutorial I will be describing how to use arrays in your program. Arrays are very useful. Um, they're pretty much like um, variables but they hold lots of values. Um, and the reason this is useful oh, we, you'll, you'll see. I don't know how to explain it. Basically how you use an array first you have to dimension it. You have to tell it how many values it can hold. To do that you would go dim and then type in the name of your array. And then in parentheses you type in how many values the array can hold. At this point we can um, give the array values. So the first value in the parentheses we would put one Oops. and then say that equals something or other um, print that out so you can so I can show to you that I'm not making this all up and it's actually doing what I'm telling it to do so put the value of 12 into the first um, point in the array and then printed it out for us to see. Um, instead of just writing out all 10 assignment statements, there's actually a way to cheat using um, using uh, loops like I showed in my previous tutorial. So how you would do this? Well first you, you gotta tell the user what's going on here, so let's do that. Enter 10 values to be stored to an array. And then this little single quote thing, that's for writing comments, it just skips over it. So at this point we'll assign values. And we'll use loops. So basically, let's use a for loop. For i equals 1 to 10. And um, then you'd use the input command to get input from the user. Input um, my first array, but um, we don't want to put just put the first number or the second number, we want to put the ith number, so in parentheses put i. And next. Um, at this point, we could print it back to the screen. Print it back to the user. For i equals 1 to 10 print my first array element number and then you use the semicolon to separate things without large tabs um number i equals my first array element i next and let's compile this hopefully i didn't make any errors enter 10 values to be stored to an array 40 12 44 minus 12 0 1 2 3 9, negative 44 million. Alright, so here it took those 10 values, put them into the array from 1 to 10, and printed them back to the screen. And as you can see, the loops helped out a great deal because it would get really cumbersome, especially if you had an array that holds like a million elements. <laughs> There's just no way you can write a code that asks for the user to input 
um, a million numbers. Also, you would never ask a user to input a million numbers. You'd use an input file, but that's for a later later tutorial. I'm not gonna show how to do that at this point. But um, there's some other stuff with arrays, like if you wanted it to be a character array, you'd use the dollar sign before the parentheses. Just like variables, you'd use the dollar sign. Um, Ta-da! Also, what else am I thinking of? Oh yeah, you can have multi-dimensional arrays. You can have... Uh, let's start over. Let's do a two-dimensional array like that. So this would be like X and Y here. So maybe we can have... Um, ah, 10 is too big for an example. Let's do 5. So that's a hundred values and I don't want to input a hundred values. Um, 4 x equals 1 to 5 in uh, actually and then within that loop we'll do 4 y equals 1 to 5 and then we'll re input input my first array x y next next print it back to the screen Although I'm starting to think even this is too much. That's 25. Here is 16. Much better. All right, let's try it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 17? Oh. Stupid me. 4 squared. Is isn't that sixteen? Oh, there we go. So here it goes. One, two. That's weird. Whatever. Anywho, there's a two-dimensional array, and and you can do maybe implicit loops where you can actually write it out like this horizontally and then you can see how it's um, two-dimensional I'm not sure but I think you can even do three-dimensional arrays but maybe not anywho there's an introduction to arrays hope you learned something stay tuned for next time and I'll show you how to do what's next on the list I think it's input files those are kinda cool to deal with well see you later